So welcome back and uh, happy new year to everyone. We are Blurreds of the Realm and uh, we be rolling them dice. So where are we? Let us do a, a quick recap. The party having left the town of Oakhurst and its various troubles behind finally are now on their second quest or their real quest to get Redra over to her people using the portal at Morgul's Mound. When they approached Morgul's Mound, they were ambushed by members of the Thunder Beast Barbarian tribe who regard this patch of land and this mound as their sacred birthright territory, which has unfortunately been taken over by a lich shaman by the name of Kazarnan. Uh, you guys engaged in battle with members of the Thunder Beast tribe and won out and even managed to kill one of them with Zephanthus decapitating one. When it was realized that you two, may, you two groups may be aligned in purpose, you guys were invited to the Thunder Beast tribe's encampment, engaged in a funeral ritual for the tribe member you had killed, and Zephanthus ended up making recompense for his slaying of the tribe member by spending a night with the tribe member's mate. On waking, you guys were shown or were directed to a watering hole area where you could enter the mound secretly and you and certain members of the Thunder Beast tribe entered. You fought a tentacle monster, some undead, and now you guys are within the depths of Morgul's mouth. Let's see what we do now. Uh, first of all, would anyone who is behind like to move forward? I believe Black Jin is behind. Uh, I don't... Oh yeah, there she is. Black Jin, you want to move your character up closer to the others? Okay. All right. Uh, anyone else who wants to move right now, you get a free move. Are we moving? What are we doing? Hello? Is anybody moving? I'm good. All right. Uh, from what we can see, I believe there is there is a, a chained white next to Zavanthus. Hello, who's that? Oh, sorry. I don't know. I, there's a chain white next to me, you said? Sorry. Yep. Can you see it? Uh, let me move my guy just a little bit over. Is that? Oh, yeah, I see it. I got it right there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, If I remember correctly, I do believe yes. that is the one that I turned. So it okay. came up towards me. All right. He was, I believe he was moving, which is why Zavanthus is close to him. That's how I remember it. So, Zavanthus, if you would like to take an, an attack of opportunity, you can. I will. Uh, I'm going to swing with Escruciatus. Okay. <laughs> I wrote an eight. New Year, same Zavanthus. Same <laughs> That is a miss. Yeah. Okay. Hey, get your rolls out I early, man. Get yeah, yep. I know, right? Get them out early. Around from where we are. Yep. There's like a black rectangle on the right, on the direct you... right hand. Maps are supposed to be a convenience. If it's causing this much trouble, just go back to theater of the mind. It's okay. Yep, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. All right, Zavanthus. Well, first of all, Ozzy and Zavanthus are presently in the front. And me. And, and, and Carapaccio. Good. Are you guys going to move forward? Yes. Yes. How far forward are you moving? As far DM? as Ozzy can see. DM? Yes. Could you do me a solid and remind me? Can you tell me what 
the current location looks like. Could you give us a brief description since we're going Excellent. back to theater of the mind? You guys are in what seems to be a, a large chamber. Uh, it looks to be a hundred feet across. If you can, if you, if you're estimating what you've covered and what you can see, uh, there are large stone pillars going from the ground to the ceiling that you cannot see because it is very dark where you assume that the ceilings are quite high. Uh, it is dark. Uh, the ground is, is earthen. Uh, and there are skeletons and bones strewn about from long before. Some of these skeletons look to be easily 50 to 100 years old. Right and now? My... Yeah, go ahead. From my current position, is there anything that would hint me as to which directions would be traversable for us. Uh, you look forward, and this looks like twenty feet ahead of you is another is another pillar. There's a pillar behind you, and there's a pillar twenty feet in front of you. Okay, he's in the air. He's in the air because he was on top of the other pillar. Oh, so okay. Is the, he the... seeing? Does that create any advantage as far as vantage point and seeing around? And he uh, has hundred and sixty. Is it hundred and sixty yard pity? I think it's 120. 120. 120. You can see from your from your vantage point quite easily. You can see another white that is W I G H T that is dragging chains around and moaning. And you can see a skeleton next to a pillar that is I'd say about 50 feet in front of it. Okay. And that white is what distance to me? I would say 35. 35 feet to your right. I'd like to fire off a sacred flame in its direction so that I can alert everyone to its presence. Okay, uh, what does sacred flame do? Sacred flame, I will read it to you right now. A flame like radiance descends upon a creature that you can see within range. The target must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 1d8 radiant damage. The target All gains right. no benefit from cover. And, uh, for this saving. All right, what what do I got to roll? I need a dex of 16 or better. That was three and it failed. Okay, so that is 2d8 for 13 radiant damage. 13 radiant damage on this guy. This is chained white number three. You guys see a moat of purple energy flick from the top of one pillar off into the distance and hit a target and light it up for a second. And you said 13. Correct. That's the most. All right. So your sacred flame goes out and hits this chained white and you hear it go it moans with uh, uh, spiritual pain. It is alerted to your presence, and it will now start moving in your general direction. Let's see if I can move it. That would be nice if I could. Uh, nope, it is on the wrong layer. Abandon the map, abandon the map. I am trying to abandon the map, but I've got a shit ton of things on it. So, it moves closer to you. It is now, it has moved... Ten feet closer. I'm going to, uh... Now that I can see it, I'm going to hit it uh, fine whip and just join him in closer so we can just jump. This. Cool. So it was a 13 that hit Is that hit it? Uh, 13 to hit. Yes. Alright. We'll give it damage first. Uh, damage okay. would be fine. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to get damage. And then he has to make it, I think, a DC 13 to all... Get joint. All right, six damage. Six damage. Hold on, DC thirteen. You said. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to restart too. My computer got. Uh, he succeeded on the DC thirteen. You got a nineteen. Okay, slow. We'll see. Well, 
six. This is doing all types of weird stuff. Okay, no, I didn't need a DC third house staking. That's just, it just gets pulled 10 feet closer on it. All right, cool. So it is now 10 feet closer to Carvajal. And uh, how close is it now? Oh, it is within five feet of you now. Okay, Did I'm that trigger attack. opportunity to attack yeah. for me too? Uh, no, you are, uh, wait, since I can't see Carvajal, are you guys within uh, five to ten feet of each other? Me and him were standing like right next to each other. Right next to each other, yeah. Cool. They're Go elbow for to elbow. It. Okay. Go ahead, Carpenter. I... Finish what you were doing, and I'll do that. Trigger. All right. Out. So I'm going to use my feet, and I get the what is that thing? I'm just gambling. Okay, I get to use a whole... the action. Oh, I'll get two attacks. It's not hit. Twelve. Hit. Does twelve hit? Uh, no, 12 does not hit. Yeah, we're so going, that's right. We're going with 13. With the next one. Okay. So the, uh, first one must hang, the first one misses. They both miss. And teeth. Oh. All right. Uh, Zavanthus, it's your, t well, you took a swing, but, uh, if you would like to take an attack of opportunity, you can. All right. Um, so when I saw Ozzy light him up, I'm gonna look in that direction and cast Eldritch Blast. Go for it. <laughs> ten. <laughs> uh, sorry, ten is not hit. All right, so uh, no, it, let me change my dice. It is close to you guys, but uh, nobody's hitting. All right, who is next? Who is closest next? I see Redra, Zevin, and Karamo. Practically in a line. Is that correct? Yes. Um, yeah. Redra, are you there with us? Yeah. Can you hear me at all? Uh, you could. You could be a little clearer. Okay. Can you there hear me you now? Go. Perfectly. Okay. Man, yeah, I figured. <laughs> all right. Um, you are within. Let's see. Five, ten, <laughs> fifteen. Uh, you can get there with your movement and attack this thing. Okay, um, I can't just throw my javelin. You can. Your javelin doesn't okay. cover that distance. Right, I figured. <laughs> okay, let me let me throw my javelin. Okay. So I can throw the thing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Seven. Seven is a miss. Yep. Uh, because it is because you are in an enclosed space and it is dark on all sides. Somehow you are. You are a, a little intimidated, maybe jarred, maybe you don't like being underground as a centaur, okay. and it throws your aim off. <laughs> uh, so your javelin skitters and hits one of the pillars. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to do? Would you like to close the distance, perhaps? Yeah, let me close the distance, and then, um, hold on. Actually, ja I have two javelins. <laughs> okay. I have two actions now. I have to remember that now. <laughs> yes, um, you do. So let me do the. So let me do before. I, before I do that, let me do my rage first. There because, you go. Because I am a good barbarian. <laughs> I have to do it manually through the thing, and then okay. I gotta be quick on the thumbs. Okay. 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 My shit shows up. Interesting. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, but my rage wasn't my uh, that that's just yeah. another action, right? Your rage is your bonus action. That's my bonus. bonus action. Okay, so then, okay, so let me do my second action, which would be um, the uh, the second javelin. The second javelin, yeah. All right, go for it. All right, twenty-four. 24 does hit. Great. So you cock back after the, uh, you know, a, a little disappointed in yourself from the first throw, and you steady yourself, and you're like, come on, Ridra, they're counting on you. And you throw with all your might. You hone in a little bit better, and uh, you hit this ghoul square in the chest. Nice. So roll for damage. 
five. All right. Plus two. You have Plus to add two. two for reach. Oh, really? Oh, okay. All right. So good. Seven. Cool. Uh, next, we have either Zevin or Karamo. Your call. Karamo, if you don't want to get you, I want to try. I want to try something. Zevin, you're up. Okay. Um, do I have a uh, question? Do I have uh, do I have um advantage on this? Uh, why would you have advantage on it? Because I was gonna try and do a sneak attack. Uh, yes. They are within five feet. Okay, then I'm gonna do a sneak. Then I'm gonna do a sneak attack. All with right. Blade, um, blade, with my blade um cards. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. you're gonna have to um. Do you have um? I'll tell you if you have line of sight. Actually, Zavanthus, Zebin, Ghoul, yes. So go ahead. Uh, twenty-five. Twenty-five does hit. Sneak attack damage is seventeen. Okay. And now with the bladed cards, I also roll one d four. Hold on, give me just one second here. Yeah, with three, um, roll your sneak attack damage and add it to the razor card's damage. You also immediately regain a number of hit points equal to the half the damage dealt. Any excess hit points regained becomes temporary hit points. So I will right. have to I guess I have to roll the sneak attack damage again. Uh, okay. Fifteen. All right. So, is that sneak attack damage, or is that what you're adding to your to your temporary hit point? Uh, I'm guessing I'm adding the, fifth, the, the fifteen is added to the uh, hit points. All right. So, add that to your temporary to add that to your hit points, or just mark it on your sheet as temp hit point. Eh. All right. Go- good. Uh, this chained white, you know, all of a sudden these cards come out of nowhere and hit it in the legs and in the throat and it drops to the ground it's not gone but it is barely moving uh karamo you around oh sean there we go uh, sorry sean what are you having technical difficulties okay. we all are today yeah all yeah. right so i would like to use firebolt i have a 120 foot okay. range well, I'm just saying this thing is, this thing is looking dismal. You, so just be aware. Oh, it's a cantrip. Um, oh, then fire away, sir. All right. So Karamo takes his little focus, does his little uh, finger foo, and does his little spells, and he cast fire fo- bolt. Okay. And rolls an 11, which does not hit. Unfortunately, it does not. So as I'm casting this spell, there's like a little spark and fizzle. And I have some technical difficulties. Performance anxiety. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. It, 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 it's it been a while, indeed. Uh, is, that your full- yeah. is, is, is that your full turn? Yeah, let me see what bonus actions I have. I mean, you can bonus action and you can move. Yeah, I don't need to get close to that thing. <laughs> yeah, I think I am just going to stay put for now. Okay, cool. Holding my bonus uh, action for later. All right, good, good, good. Uh, okay, that was Redra. That was it. So now, Black Jin, is there anything you'd like to do? Um, okay, I'd like to use Thorn Whip, if I can. All right, uh, what is your distance on your Thorn Whip? Uh, three feet. Uh, okay. I think you might need to get closer. Maybe, uh, ten feet of movement to get closer. Wasn't I close already? 
I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going off my last coordinates, which were, which could have been wrong. So if you're closer, then go for it. I think it was ten feet away. I'm not. Okay. Okay, that means you'd be behind Ozzy. So you can definitely use your Thorn Whip. So I got a 18. All right, how does Thorn Whip work? Well, you're definitely hit with an 18. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, it was the wrong one. Okay. Oh, I got a 9. <laughs> well, unfortunately, that is a miss. What? Um, uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? No, I'm still, I'll see where I am when you All right, cool. So, Black Jin steps out and she pulls her, her hand forth, but the wavering of this uh, chained white, the way it's just kind of standing and just kind of weaving, just throws her off a bit and her, her thorn whip goes wide. Uh, I will move uh, third R forward, and third R. Okay, so I come on, DMB Beyond, wake up. Third R is going to run forward. Actually, no, he's going to use Scorching Ray on it. He got a nat twenty. Oh wow! And it does fourteen damage. So. He steps forward, and he's like, <clears throat> Thunder Beast will show you how. And he puts his hand forward, and a scorching ray of fire leaps from his hand, hits the chained white, and it goes up in a terrible scream. <laughs> and it is reduced to a pile of burning uh, dead flesh and bone on the ground. All right. Oh, likes to show off. Thunder Beast, just get job done. All right, so uh, we are going to move forward. While this was happening, uh, another chained white came from. I am going to say. What's Hold on, you. Uh, can I move you? No, I can't move you. I'm sorry. Oh, move. All right. Uh, bro, just move. Like, how hard is that to do? Okay. Uh, so... Ozzy, this one is on your left on it would be to your right going down so it's on the map it would be the left but we're not looking at the map so it's to my uh, left yeah actually if you're I going can... forward to your right it's to my right Yeah, I will once again cast sacred flame and attempt to light them up so that my Go friends for it. are available for target it has to do a uh, uh, save. Deck 16, yes. All right. Uh, that is a nine, so it fails. All right. Uh, 15 damage. 15 damage. All right, so hold on. Let me get these on my sheet. Uh, you're dead. And you are minus 15. Excellent. And you see, after you hit it, another white joins it. So another white comes out of the darkness and stands next to it. And I will flutter oh. forward towards the pillar that's ahead of us, or ahead of me. And I will grip uh -huh. onto the top of that pillar. Okay, cool. Uh, Carvaggio. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing again to the one that he lit, lit up. Well, Let's actually, see. well, actually, it is the second white's turn. Okay. 
And these whites, once they get within uh, five feet of each other, they these whites can link their chains together and produce a pulse of psychic agony and confusion. This spell is called the Links of Agonized Confusion. I would need an intelligence save from Carvaggio, Zavanthus, and Black Jin. Eight. One. All right. Wait, 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 wait. You intelligence? intelligence save. I'm moving to you. This is one of my feats. Where's the bathroom? Right. Eight. All right. So, Zavathus, did you give me an intelligence save? Yeah, I got 21. 16 plus 5. You succeeded. About you, time. Yo. And trust me, just about time. Is that cool? Can you guys not see my roll? Because I'm rolling in D and D Beyond. Uh, I can't see your roll. I didn't, but I'm not in campaign. Hold on. Anybody else see it in D and D Beyond? Uh, as a minute, of this yeah, you're uh, yeah, I'm on the okay. guys. I'm on, I see you on the game log. Yeah, no, okay, okay, cool. Last uh, thing I saw you right. roll. So I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for Black Jin to roll an intelligence save. Ah, he did. He was fourteen. Oh, I don't know what she got. I got seventeen. Yeah. Seventeen is a save. So, all right. So, Zavanthus. not yeah. not Zavanthus. Uh, Carvaggio. Yeah. Okay. You take twenty-three psychic damage. God damn it, bro. Uh, and for, for Black Jin and Zavanthus, you both take 10 psychic damage. Okay. I don't remember. Did we have a rest? Cause I don't know. You guys rested it, before you came in, but then you fought a tentacle monster. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. Cool. Damage. <laughs> 10. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Jesus. All right, so now it is, uh, it is, that was the thing, Carvajal, it is now your turn. Okay, but then I can say the same thing. Uh, since they're linked together, can I pull them? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. All right, so same thing again. You do one. Okay, 17. 17 does hit. Okay. A damage and it pulls them closer. 10 feet. Excellent. Uh, I will... Hold on, let me do... Get to my calculations. Actually, how far away was I? The first place? I probably had to move up. Uh, well, your thorn whip's 30 feet, so, uh, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the range. Uh, let me go here to my screen. Give me a second. All right, so this one... How much damage did you say? Eight. All right, hold on. All right, that takes you to this, and this takes you to 37. Cool. Excellent. Next up, uh, Carvajal, is that your full turn? Uh, we're how far away from you are they now? Uh, they are about ten feet away. Okay, yeah. I got... Can I play this kind of people? Oh, <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna cast Sanctuary on myself and wait. Okay, cool. Uh, Zavathus, it's your turn. 
It is my turn. And I am going to attack with yeah. Excruciatus. You're going to have to run in. Oh, well, then if that's the case. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to use Eldritch Blast. I'll just be safe. I don't, right. don't want to take no more damage. Damn. Let's roll it. Let's get it. Baby needs some shoes. God damn it. 12. Uh, just misses. But there are... Uh, do you just have one Eldritch Blast at this level, or do you have two? Yeah, I just have one. So now I'm going to run in. Okay. And give him that work with uh, Excruciatus. Cool. Twenty. Twenty is a hit. It was it dirty twenty or was it a nat? Uh dirty twenty. All right, cool. All Which right. one are you attacking? Are you attacking the, fir the the first one that Ozzy lit up or the second one? Yeah, the one that Ozzy lit up. Cool. Because I know he should be about ready to be up out of here. Okay. <laughs> and I wrote a one for damage plus five, so that's six points damage. Uh -huh. Listen, that <laughs> that that works. That um, works. <laughs> You're using Eldritch Blast with one action, and then with your second attack, you're attacking with Excruciatus? Yes. Okay, just making sure I'm just making sure I'm keeping track of the economy. Alright, okay, cool. cool. Do you uh do you have a bonus action available? Um Yeah, but I'm I am i am not gonna use them. I don't it's nothing that I could really use. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh so I guess that's your turn, correct? Yeah, that's my turn. Alright, so you guys see uh Ranthus raises his axe forward and he fires out an Eldritch Blast, which uh, strangely enough, because these things are chained together and kind of wriggling around and reaching forward for Carvaggio, the Eldritch Blast goes wild, goes, you know, it just clips them. Uh, so he decides he's going to run in and he lets out a roar and he runs in and swings Excruciatus and hits one of them and lops off an entire arm. Oh, man. All right. Pretty good at lopping things off. That's oh, right. Redra, you're next. Carla, where you at? I'm here. I got to turn my mic on and off because my mom's shouting in the background. So Excellent. You can't know that I have a mom, okay? That's, that's, that's absolutely fine. I am Batman. All right, You're... so where's this? Uh, are there any more enemies left? I thought you just killed a whole chain of dudes. Uh, no, they killed one dude, and these two dudes are chained together. Oh, I see. So they're going to rope a dope them. Uh, if you can. I <laughs> don't if that's possible. Okay, so um, I'll aim for the, I don't know, the left most guy well there there's one that's really that's banged up and there's one that just came on the scene oh okay i got it okay um so hold on yeah i used my javelin of um lightning but i had used the charge already so so that's okay i'm, I'm okay with that okay um, so it, it's just gonna do straight javelin damage right okay yeah, yeah. so um i will throw how by well, I'm just gonna look through all these things that I have and still pick javelin. Like I don't know why I keep thinking like I'm gonna use something else. Yeah. Um so I'm gonna throw my javelin at the at the new guy. Oh, first, okay. If that's if that's okay with everyone. <laughs> no one no one is, is leveling an objection. Okay. Alright, so I'm throwing my javelin at the um the new guy, new arrival. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you call that. Uh... the not weak guy. I call him Chained White Number Five. Chained White Number Five. Okay. All right. So let's it see. It seems racist. I it, know. It, it, that, that that's a song by Lou Bega. I, uh, is that that is a I thought it was a perfume. So, anyways, it, uh, like roll the twenty-two, which is a hit on bed. So you ru you run forward, and now your blood is up. Because you're also raging, so right. 
you got you, you, somehow you're more focused and you, you pull on this javelin and you're like, well, it won't give me lightning, but it will give it, it will fly true. And you throw it and you hit this, uh, this chained white, which is the new guy. Chained white number five. Okay. Yeah. What's the damage? Oh, right. Um, actually, did I throw the javelin of lightning or did I throw the regular? Oh, yeah. okay. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I did a six plus three plus two, if Aussie has reminded me correctly. Uh, so six is the damage plus three. What's the three from? Uh, well, well, it says, I don't know. It's 1d6 plus her strength plus two for rage. So yeah, it would be 11. Right. Got it. Well hit. <laughs> For some reason, D and D Beyond doesn't automatically add on the rage damage. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, that's true. I I can probably do it through uh, um, the uh, Avery thing. Okay. All right. So chained white number five. Uh, While be of course being chained at the arm to his his companion is not uh, as dexterous or or agile as he would be normally. And you sink him with that uh, that javelin dead square in the chest. And you hear it go... Oh! Uh, do you have anything else? Or were those... Um, right. No, I... Uh, well, that was just the one move, so... Okay, um, let me... Right. Um... And, um, so, okay, so let me use my, uh, my, um, my other javelin, I guess, on well, the... Well, you've yeah. thrown two javelins. One stuck I... in a pillar, and one stuck in a, in a... Oh, right. Oh, crap. One, one is stuck in a chained white. So now you're, okay. uh, now you're you down to... You back, though, sis. You're down to okay. either... You're down to either Hooms or Glaive. Okay, yeah, let me, okay, then let me advance, um, towards the guy and get my javelin back all right uh if you if you're just gonna run there and just grab the javelin uh uh-huh. there there is a chance you could be struck oh okay um so you might uh, just why want to say grab the javelin that's in the wall right well, um the well, that's on the wall is further away yeah. right yeah we'll do that so, so can I just cut- use my second action to... I'm sorry. Can I use my second action to attack the guy and get my javelin back? Uh, if you're running into attack, definitely. Okay. Then I'll do that then. All right. So you're going to run in. What are you attacking with? Uh, hooves. Go for it. <laughs> uh, 14. 14 does hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Seven. All right. So you guys see Redra run up now, and you're like, oh, she's running to the front? Go, Redra. And she runs up, and she rears up and hits him, boop, boop, with the hooves uh, in the chest. Uh, But she doesn't hit him full on which is why she only does five damage because she's trying to be slick and kick and grab her javelin at the same time. Okay. Um, I believe that is your turn, correct? Okay, right. Okay, so it wasn't a seven, it was a five? Uh, It was it was seven, I'm sorry. It did five damage plus a rage. So I marked okay, you down. Cool. Yes. All right, cool. All right. Um, next, I believe it is Zebin. Do I still have advantage on the... Do I still have advantage on Uh, you have advantage now because Redra closed the distance and she's right up close to him. All right, so I'm going to do, so do the same thing. Go uh, them. Just okay. do me a favor and tell me how many times you can do a sneak attack. Uh, sneak attack is one per turn. Once per turn. Cool, go for it. All right. So, let's see here. Once per turn, as long as you have advantage. Good. 16? 16 does hit. Okay, so we are going with... All right, question is, which one are you aiming for? 
Um, I'm gonna aim for the um one that's already wounded. Try to get one. Uh, try to try to get one of them down. So, okay, cool. So, damage. Okay. Uh, nine. All right. And let me see. Roll my. Uh, shackle. Until the start of the next turn, the target speed is halved. It can't make more than one attack on its turn while its speed is reduced in this way. Cool. Uh. And you say it is shackled. Yes. Uh, we will call shackled. Uh, I'm guessing the car. I'm guessing the car slashed him and then, uh, like, grabbed with a chain and probably, like, to hit the wall or something like that, so he's like stuck now or something like that. All right, I will call it restrained. Good. All right, excellent. Uh, is that all you got? Uh, are you gonna move from where you are? Um, I could take a, uh, I guess a bonus action, but I was probably just gonna do that. I was just gonna hide for my own bonus action. That works. Uh, do me a favor and. Roll, give me a d20. A d20? Yeah, just a d20. Okay. Stealth check. Yeah, stealth check. Thank you. How much? Uh, 12. Uh, okay. Uh, you're hiding. We'll, we'll, we'll find out how successful you are, uh, g g as we play. Uh, next would be Black Jin, I believe. How far am I from it? You are, I would say, d d d d d you were then twenty feet. I would like to name a twin weapon at a chai. Sure. Uh, which one are you going for? Uh, the not the one that we draw uh, attacked. Yeah, the first one. Okay. Cool. Go for it. That is the one that is uh, restrained at the moment. So if that works, will like part of them stay on the wall? Uh, part, yeah, one of them is pinned to the pillar. So I that got a... Is, you got a... 13. Uh, 13 is actually a hit. So, uh, you uh, roll damage. Or tell me how much the damage is. Damage is 1d8. All right. Uh, go ahead. Roll 1d8. Also, because it's restrained, she has an advantage. She, yeah, well, I mean, she hit it. I mean, do you want her to roll again to see if she gets a crit? There you go. Do me a favor and uh, roll the attack again to see if you get a crit. No, it was a crit. Wait a second. <laughs> Just roll the thorn whip. Not by 1d6. Okay, I'm a, uh... It's cool. It's cool. All right. So, how much was the damage? Thorn whip. Oh, no, I can't see her roll. It's saying 1d6, but only gave me 2d6 as option. Did you... That's that's because you're... At level. your level, you're supposed to be 2d6. Yeah. All right, so r roll 2d6 damage. It says 8. All right, so that is an 8. Hold on. And you're attacking the one that was hurt before. And the eight destroys it. Good. So you guys see Black Jin step forward. She's like, come on, Thorn Whip, do your thing. And she reaches out and it lashes and it just wraps around this chained white that is stuck to the pillar. And it wraps around it and the pillar. And you see it constrict and just rip the chained uh, white to shreds and its body parts fall to the ground and it is destroyed. Uh, and its head yes. falls on the ground and looks up at Black Jin with empty eyes, almost to say thank you. <laughs> 